This is part two of 3.1, Develop Simple Assessment Instruments. So we developed them on the assessment tool. So I've opened up again the assessment tool for John. We've already completed purpose, context, we've ticked our assessment methods now. We'll get back to the mapping in a minute. And we'll just start now developing some simple assessment instruments. So we've said that um, an observation checklist would be quite appropriate here. So we need to put in the, um, the performance criterion here. So it was 1.1. And if you turn back to your unit of competency for the forklift licence, 1.1 was um, work, potential workplace hazards are identified. So let's just change the language of that. Oh, actually, no, under this one we'll leave it the same. Potential workplace hazards are identified. Okay, so... Maybe it's a standard operating procedure. It certainly would be if it was getting onto a forklift, you know, sit down, strap up, you know, put the key in the ignition, blah, 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 look around. You know, there would be step-by-step -step procedures that would work. The important thing is that we must use very simple language and any operating procedure or checklist just goes in sequ sequential order down in these rows below. So we can wipe that little uh, suggestion out there now and start to build that. So uh, we've got to see if he's going to identify any workplace hazards. So since there's no one in the area <coughs> and he's not physically going to be on a forklift at this stage, you would want to set up a little bit of a simulation in the sense that you've created maybe one or two hazards in the workplace. So 